Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Caballero and you're watching my avatar or you're watching channel of the avatar in YouTube, Twitch, Smashcast, Daily Motion, and Mixer. And right now, my avatar is in Elysium Mines and he is fighting this kobold. So, what am I doing here in Elysium Mines? Well, of course, what else do you do here except mine for gold ores? And while uh, I'm mining for gold ores here in uh, Elysium Mines, uh, I'm also going to, you know, talk about um, things that are happening around Shroud of the Avatar. But first, I need to. Oh, look at that, I'm lagging. I need to kill this kobold first. Die, kobold. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, 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 I'm getting some lag. I don't know where it's coming from, but I am surely getting it. <laughs> ah, supply bundle yellow, nice. So I just got myself a supply bundle. So let's go and uh, let's talk about our first topic is this. Um, in the forums, uh, Barak posted a uh, or and you know um, started a thread titled "Asking for More Tips." So it's called "We Need More Screen Loading Tips." Enter yours here. Um, if you are playing Shadow of the Avatar, you might have seen, obviously, <laughs> you will definitely see these tips because, uh, as you know, Shroud of the Avatar is uh, broken up or divided into different scenes or instances. And uh, as you enter a new scene or adventure zone or instance, um, you'll encounter a loading screen and in that loading screen it has a tip it gives out tips and looking at the list look at that look at the list you can see the list right where is that look look at all those tips um, unfortunately Barak didn't number the tips he just uh, he used a bullet point to list all the <coughs> excuse me to list all the tips. So if you are uh, interested in uh, you know helping out um, Barak, um, all you have to do is uh, find this post. The title of the post is "We Need More Screen Loading Tips," and in that post there is a link to a um, Google document it's a Google form where you uh, where um, it and it will ask you for information about your tip and you can uh, submit more than one if you have uh, a lot of tips that are not yet in rotation then uh, just keep submitting them all uh, the last time they did this, they they were also giving away uh, kotos. I'm uh, I'm not sure if uh, Barrett is going to give away kotos this time. There is no information about giving any kotos, which is too bad. <laughs> the last time they did uh, this, the last time they asked uh, for tips, um, they would you know choose a random winner. And that random winner will get some kotos. Okay, so let's do some mining. Again, I'm in Elysium Mines and I'm mining. Mining for gold ores. So uh, right now I'm just switching switching between windows. <laughs> I only have one monitor, unfortunately. And I think, look at that, I'm being attacked by a kobold. So the monsters here in Elysium Mines um, are just there to annoy you. 
to disrupt you what you're doing to uh, you know interfere with your mining see that the cobalt is dead you don't need a good uh, a good armor I'm I'm wearing a, a store-bought armor from the add-on store so you don't need a uh, what do you call this an expensive armor or an armor with tons of bonuses to survive elysium mines okay next is uh, you know um, recently Darkstar posted something about tearing down the walls and again I am being attacked by another kobold while I am talking this kobold is rude I have no choice but to kill him sorry kobold but you're dead another dead kobold it will disappear in a few seconds uh, okay so let's take a look at that post here we have uh, dark stars post greetings avatar so this is about you know taking taking down the castle lot walls the keep and castle lot walls I don't have a keep nor do I have a castle but I've seen uh, these walls in um, mostly in NPC towns or PR uh, player run towns um, there are uh, lots in uh, in towns that have that are surrounded with walls and uh, I guess that is uh, what Darkstar is talking about so he is referring to those walls and now they have taken them down in R45 I think okay so let's go and check this uh, when we originally created the Duke and Lord of the Manor pledge pledges we provide a description and screenshot that describe caves with castle walls. At first, these walls were pre-placed in the world, therefore offered no option for the owners. I'm being attacked by a kobold. I'm going to kill the kobold first. Die kobold. Freaking kobolds. <laughs> and the kobold is dead. I'm going to take his gold okay no options for these lots to change the walls to other types yep of course because they are fixed and uh, recently shroud of the avatar or portalarium has added a few um, or a, uh, yeah, a few sets of different walls that you can place on your lots of course big lots you can't place walls uh, on a rollout because uh, there is no space <laughs> you could possibly put wall walls around a village lot but uh, I don't think you'll have enough space for a house now we have like a shogun shogun walls uh, and uh, another kind of walls that uh, uh, you can place on your lot and because um, the um, what do you call this the keep and castle lots have a fixed wall um, the owner of that lot have no choice or or if he wanted to he won't be able to change the the look of the wall or the walls because they are fixed but this time um, short, uh, Dark Story is saying that they took, they took down the walls, and now um, owners of castle lots and keep lots will be able to put their own walls. They can buy the walls from the Allen store and uh, put them manually on their lots. And uh, accor according to this post, this is the uh, third time they, they are doing this. <laughs> third time. Because the first time, I believe some, uh, some backers uh, got angry. 
so they had to uh, you know put back the walls but according to Dark Star after uh, some uh, polling okay uh, I believe they they asked or maybe they did a poll or something and uh, they have decided to finally take down the walls unfortunately um, there will be uh, a backer who owns a castle or keep lot who won't like it who will not like this decision as they say you can't make um, you can't please everybody and that is very true so if you have a castle lot or a keep lot that has a fixed wall don't, um, don't be uh, surprised if in R45 um, the walls around your lot keep or, or castle lot um, disappears okay so I suggest that you uh, find someone who is good at you know lining up walls I'm sure there are avatars in the game or players who are expert who are uh, you know who are uh, what do you call this an expert who are experts in uh, lining up walls or decorating uh, castle and keep lots okay So what else do we have uh, in um, what else is happening in Shroud of the Avatar? I'm just checking the forums right now, looking for something. Okay, how about this one? Sotacon. Ooh, Sotacon. Sota controversy? <laughs> confirmed. It says here confirmed. Okay, look at that. Casting light There's a light a certain kind of light Okay, so I'm, I'm going to stay here while I take a look at um, This thread about soda con Austin 2017 soda con So what is soda con and why you should be there? So there is a uh, an answer to that question Shout of the avatar conventions are the brainchild of violation cloth to bring the shroud of the avatar community together on a regional and global scale to facilitate fellowship and interaction among players okay uh, and between the players and the developers Sodacon Austin is ground zero for interaction with the developers of shroud of the avatar where your ideas and input are on the front lines based on the beautiful city of Austin Texas Portalarium Incorporated is the home of Shadow of the Avatar of the Shadow of the Avatar development team that are quickly being recognized for groundbreaking concepts throughout the industry. So that is what Sotacon in uh, Sotacon is. It uh, Sotacon stands for Shadow of the Avatar conventions. I've never been into uh, I've never been to a convention uh, even though I've been uh, invited uh, for free <laughs> a few times by uh, local gaming publishers of course this one is happening in Austin Texas and that is in the US of A which is like halfway around the world so it's a uh, at the other side of the planet and that means uh, there is no way for me to get there unless of course uh, I get my own plane which is uh, extremely expensive even buying a ticket is like a fortune here <laughs> my goodness so uh -huh. so here we have the uh, information for ticket and donations tentatively so it's not yet final so donations and prices include processing fees so flexible non attendee clo cloak donations so if you just want to get the cloak the community cloak uh, there is no picture of the cloak here 
so I'm not sure if it, if it looks good or not yeah, yeah there is no picture so if you want if, if you just want to get the cloak it will cost you like 22.50 dollars and it will be available on oh it's already available January 1 2017 through August 1 20 ah it's over ah it's over then there is the early bird uh, ticket rate of $44 so Austin 27 ticket $55 then late bloomer ticket $65 then there is a merchant pass you'll get you'll find all this information in the forums uh, $150 and portalarium tour ticket $350 okay there is also information about hotel and shuttle service it's like an advertisement for that hotel <laughs> maybe maybe they uh, they partnered with the hotel you know to give to get the uh, attendees some discounts okay also um, information about the calendar and agenda look at that so um, not attendee non attendee cloak donations available okay so we have some dates here then uh, on um, October 13 the event starts it's a uh, what one two three day event Wow it's a very long day it's like um, comic-con I believe comic-con is like four days anyway so this this uh, sort of con is a at least a three-day event from October 13 to October 15 and uh, I'm sure you guys are seeing the um, seeing the the schedule right now on this video so if you are you know uh, having uh, some second thoughts about attending well uh, why not go and meet uh, um, other players of shroud of the avatar meet your fellow avatars in uh, in real life not just in game and i'm looking at some panel vacancy look at that <laughs> i'm sure that is that is not free <laughs> so there are some panel vacancies uh, on the first day and as well as in the second day so we have here some uh, special instructions for attendees costumes are encouraged okay so I hope some some attendees will uh, cosplay uh, you know will play or you know will wear some of the armors uh, available in the game like maybe someone could create a clockwork armor that would be awesome and then cosplay that <laughs> or maybe the epic cloth armor the epic cloth armor uh, reminds me of you know Assassin's Creed it uh, you know that armor or clo clothing um, um, is like uh, very similar to the one to the uh, to the uh, costume or clothing worn by the brotherhood i'm sure it wasn't intended to look that way okay next we have uh -huh. badges will be issued and badge checks will be employed at sodacon if you have if you attend scare for a cure please dress in old clothes and bring the largest trash bags you can find for the return trip to your hotel you will be bloody refund charge back and upgrade policy so there is no refunds available once purchase or donation is made except in special circumstance circumstances charge backs charge backs will be pursued for favorable outcome upgrades will be permitted provided the upgrade ticket is available on a case-to-case -case basis the upgrade procedure will be as follows your original ticket purchase will be refunded once requested and approved you may then purchase the ticket of your choice so there is some kind of refund only if you are upgrading your ticket <laughs> 
Okay, staff information and event manager statement. So we have uh, Barrett, Duke Ezekiel, Cooper, uh, Violation Cloth, Savior, I, uh, Jaron Swarshar. I hope I'm saying saying that correctly. Lazarus Long, Jackalope, Roper, uh, Doc Holiday, Doc Holiday, Wins, Win Silver Moon, Drake Adis. Eternal Knight Winfield of Pax Layer. So all volunteers that wish to help with the setup of the event are encouraged. All private messages of general please contact Savior. All merchants vendors image outlet please contact Lazarus Law. All volunteers with security background please contact Okay. So we have here the second uh, post about Solacon. It has more information. Sonicon Austin 2017 Ledger. So I guess this is uh, this post is all about the money. It's like show me the money. So cross donations and ticket sales uh, right now. I'm not sure if this is updated. I'll just assume that it's updated. It's at 6,218. And there is a list of expenses. Look at that. And the third post, attendee ticket holders. So this, uh, this are this is the list of those avatars who will attend SodaCon 2017. Look at that. Maybe your name is uh, listed here. So there are like 52 attendees. And then uh, huh, merchant pass, no merchant pass listed. Then uh, we have here Portalarium Tour 11 bought the ticket. I believe Starman of uh, House Serenite Knight of Grunwald is uh, having issues with uh, you know the game right now. I see him posting a lot in the the infamous Shroud of the Avatar Reddit community, and I also believe that he is selling his ticket. So if you are interested. In going to uh, SodaCon 2017 in Austin, Texas, and you're looking for the Portalarium Tour ticket, uh, I suggest that you contact Starman. I don't think he's uh, he wants to attend the event anymore. Again, uh, I think he's having some you know bad day. <laughs> Uh, regarding or about uh, Shroud of the Avatar okay so down here aha so no more information it says reserved so those are um, all the information posted about Sonicon 2017 in Austin Texas okay so I uh, hope a lot of you guys attend the event because it's uh, you know one way of supporting Shadow of the Avatar and uh, supporting the community. So let's concentrate on mining. I have like 735 gold ores. My goal is to get like 2,000 gold ores, but I don't think I'll get that. My output, my output is very very low right now. So what else can we find? Let's take a look. Fine, fine, fine. Ah, this is interesting. Let's uh, take a look at this because I think uh, this this is going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, where is that? I need to switch the window. There you go. So let's take a look at the uh, release 44 screenshot and video gallery. Okay, so here we have uh, what is this? A house, a screenshot of a house, and, and look at that a nice screenshot of a town. What is this? A body of water. So, this is this is uh, in Joanna Ford, which is uh located in South Palladis I believe more screenshots ah look at that nice cave a nice looking cave so these are large look at that see the quality 
So the graphics of Shaun of the Avalon is not that bad actually. People are just, you know, those players or uh, who are uh, for some reason hates Shaun of the Avatars likes to exaggerate how bad or good the graphics of Shroud of the Avatar is but uh, looking at this of initial screenshots I don't think they look that bad okay so this is mine uh -huh. I took these screenshots because I just got the virtue miners miners hat or helmet I just want to show show uh, my avatar wearing the helmet okay so where is this so this is in blood river outskirts Ah, uh, look at that! Look at the elf! Look at the quality of the elf! Look at that! That is not bad looking. Okay. More screenshots. I need to do some mining. So I'm mining here in Elysium Mines while you know looking at the screenshots. What is that? Some kind of skill is fighting that thing, whatever that thing is. So there is a town in uh, Blood River. Ah, uh, here we have uh, some screenshots from uh, a guildmate in Have Havoc, Polly Walnuts. Look at that. Polly is already wearing the Shroud of the Avatar, which is really awesome. Look at that. One day I'll get that. I'll eventually get the Shroud, and uh, I will become the Avatar. <laughs> Okay, more screenshots from Polly. Uh, looking over uh, uh, the uh, Cape Ornate Moon Dial. So that thing is very expensive. It's big and expensive. And what is that thing? Look at that. That is a uh, an avatar and if basically it's a floating head. A head is floating. Ah, look at that. I like the combination of the elven armor, a Kabbalist hood, and uh, a black wing, an evil wing. Oh, what happened? Look at that. A pile of bandits. Uh huh. This one is a very bright looking screenshot. Ah, doing some. Uh, Look at that, playing some piano, the grand piano, and of course look at the dragon, see that, look at the dragon, okay, so let's uh, go to the next page, there are two pages of uh, screenshots, casting light and then strength of earth, and then mine okay so where is this uh -huh. I don't know where this is Alice hit the Alice a uh, Brittany Alice okay so this is a screenshot of Brittany Alice it looks nice okay so that's it so those are just uh, you know all the screenshots that uh, were posted in the release 44 screenshot and video gallery Thread. Okay, so let's go back to mining. So I don't have again. I am switching switching between windows because I don't have uh, multiple monitors. I only have one monitor. So <laughs> sometimes switching between uh, windows it gets confusing. So again with the kobolds so the kobolds are not that strong they die quickly they are pretty weak so if you if you um if you want to mine some gold or well the kobolds uh, uh, they are found in the first floor of the cave or the mine they won't uh, you know give you any problems 
Okay, so what else can I show you guys? So let's find something. How about this one? Ah, you guys will love this one if you like old games. Hopefully, I hope you guys like this. Let's go and switch and ta-da! Look at that. You're looking at GOG.com. Okay, so why am I showing you this? Because uh, right now, GOG.com is giving away Deadlight Director's Cut for free. See that? Get for free. Deadlight Director's Cut for free. And you have like 21 hours or 22 hours to get it. It's counting down. So if you're watching this video and you want um, a free game, okay, uh, I have no idea what Deadlight is, but I al already got it. <laughs> Before I did the video, I went to GOG.com, logged into my account, and uh, and I, I I got the game. Then I logged out so I uh, I can uh, show you show you guys this um, you know this uh, banner. That shows the uh, the information about the free game. Well, it's not really a uh, information. It's basically just an, an advertisement. Okay, so you, you have like less than 22 hours to get Deadlight Director's Cut for free uh, in GOG.com. So I just suggest that you guys go to GOG.com, create an account, and get the game. You'll also get uh, a Calibet. I believe a Calibet is is free in GOG.com. So if you've never played the uh, Lord British's or Richard Garriott's first <clears throat> uh, computer RPG, well, you can uh, you can now get it and uh, play it. Get it in GOG.com and play it. Okay. So let's move on. What else? What else can I show you guys? Okay. Ah, okay. So uh, this will feel like an advertisement, but it's really not. <laughs> okay, so it's a disguise advertisement. Okay, and I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm just going to open the window. Okay, so it's opened. Uh, switching and tada! Look at that. So I'm talking about WT Fast. So if, guys, if you are lagging in Shroud of the Avatar, maybe not just Shroud of the Avatar. If you're lagging in uh, games in uh, in your favorite games like maybe Counter Strike, Global Offensive, um, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, Dota 2, Depends, Defense of the Ancients. A smite uh, what else a lot of games so uh, WD fast supports a lot of games and even um, non game non supported games you can use uh, WD fast with uh, with those games that are not supported by the uh, software so if you're lagging uh, I suggest that you give WD fast a try okay so WD fast has a 14 days free trial it's not free but it has a 14 days free trial and you can use those 14 days to see if uh, double d fast will work for you or not 14 days is a lot of time to see if double d fast works for you or will work for you again try it before you pay for the service so that you uh, you won't complain that oh my goodness it didn't work <laughs> it works for me okay so what it does is uh, it Kind of somewhat reduces your lag by routing your um, game data through its uh, through its uh, virtual private network. They call it gamers private network. So double has double has its own network, and it routes your game data to their network. And that will uh, because it's there are less traffic. Uh, it will give you a better ping and uh, hopefully less lag okay so the link to where you can uh, get uh, double D fast and try double D fast is in the description of this video or channel or just go to 
http uh, colon slash slash um, bit.ly slash get wt fast so that is the url okay so i guess uh guys that's it that's the entire show or video <laughs> hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, watching my avatar mine for gold ores or ore here in Elysium Mines and if you guys enjoyed it then please like the video share it to your friends or maybe the live stream I'm live streaming it but the it will be available later as soon as uh, it gets uh, uploaded to YouTube uh, so this uh, this is uh, I'm streaming this video right now in uh, Twitch in YouTube in Smash Cash Daily Motion and Mixer so five platforms of goodness so uh, subscribe to my channel YouTube if you uh, enjoy the video or follow me in twitch in uh, daily motion I already said that why am I repeating that uh, if you have any comments questions or reactions about the video then please post them in the comment section of the video or the channel or maybe you can you know uh, tweet your question and reaction uh, uh, follow me in Twitter at Caballero um, so that you'll get updates of uh, when uh, when a, a new live stream uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm running out of things to say unfortunately so so uh, if you want to get updates of when uh, I live stream or you know uploaded a new video I suggest that you follow me in Twitter that is what I'm trying to say and I was uh, you know having a hard time saying it <laughs> so guys that's it thank you very much for watching um, see you in short of the avatar bye bye And I'm fighting uh, a couple of kobolds, my goodness.